So I'm going to take you back a few years. This is one of my very first jobs in, um, in tech. I was working with some hotel companies. In fact, I was working with all of the hotel companies over the course of about three years. I started out, I worked with Hotels.com, Expedia, Marriott, LastMinute.com, Hilton. I worked with all of them over the course of about three years. And what was interesting about working with all of them, they were all obsessed with everybody else. They all wanted to know what Expedia were thinking. What are LastMinute.com planning? What are Marriott? What's Marriott's intentions to do this? And they all had the same goal in mind, is they want to be number one in hotels. That was their strategy. Not the greatest of strategy, but that's where they were. They're all focused on each other. And then, of course, somebody else comes along, as you know the story here, and eats their breakfast. Booking.com came through. And I was lucky enough to work with Booking.com in the years after this. And what was interesting about that, and we've all heard this story, is what drove them forward was a relentless focus on continuous improvement. That is a strategy. Being number one is not a strategy. And it was an important lesson for me in understanding, well, what does it take to build a strategy? What does it take to be a leader in a particular space? And again, we can look at the literature to figure this stuff out. There's this fabulous model. You should take a photo of this. It's great stuff, by the way. I shouldn't tell you what to do, but you can take a photo of this if you'd like to. This is how to write a strategy. It's pretty straightforward stuff. These are the things you need in place to create a strategy. Now, all of those businesses I showed you before were struggling for one reason or another. All of them struggled. None of them could get there and be number one because something was missing in terms of their strategy. Here's a fantastic idea about what you need to succeed. 